Okay, we, we're just going to wait another couple of minutes to make sure everyone turns up and we'll start at 10 past. Is this working? Yes, it is. There's some echo, isn't there? Okay, if the echo continues, I will have to find another way. Can you hear the echo? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I think this microphone works better, so let's use this. Okay, it's 10 past. I think um, everyone is here, uh, so let's let's get started. Okay. So thanks uh, thanks for coming to this uh, introduction session. Uh, just to make sure, okay, this uh, this is the uh, introduction to individual project. Okay. So if you're not doing an individual project this year. Uh, you're in the wrong place, uh, so you can leave the session. Everyone who is doing an introduction, in, uh, an individual project, uh, should be in this room. Okay, so please, please join in. This is the introduction session for the individual project. 
Okay, so welcome back. Uh, um, I think the third year of the year introduction session tomorrow. Uh, so this is specifically for individual projects. Um, so I, I, I start these sessions um, to talk about motivation. Okay, so why are you doing an individual project this year? Okay, so probably you will tell me that you're doing a project because we force you to do it, right? Do we give you the choice? No, you have to do this unit. Uh, this is part of the accreditation of your degree. Okay, so you don't have a choice. You have to do your individual projects. I hope that most of you are doing this project because you are looking, you're looking forward to the project. You're, you're, you're going to enjoy it. You're enthusiastic about it. So hopefully that's most of you, okay? Uh, you, you're, you're looking forward to, you know, find out what you're gonna study um, in this unit. But some of you maybe don't care, okay? Are not interested, not engaged in, in the project. Hopefully not many of you, but I know every year some students, they're just not engaging. Okay, maybe it's because they haven't been allocated the project that they wanted. Maybe, okay. Um, I just wanted to say that there's a lot of time and effort that is spent on allocate, allocation of projects. Okay, a lot of time. We have our own constraints. Okay, we have a very large cohort this year. Okay, normally we deliver these sessions in the smaller um, uh, lecture theaters. This year, we've got as large cohort as we've ever had, okay? And we have a limited pool of supervisors, okay? So we have followed a specific process for project allocation that tries to ensure as many of you as possible are allocated with one of the top bids for project, maybe one of the four or five top projects. But we have to follow a process. Several projects are uh, very popular, okay? We can't allocate more than a few students, or in many cases, one student to a given project, okay? So we try to give a fair chance to everyone to get their top project, but in the end, we have to make a decision, okay? So if you haven't been allocated your preferred project, I would like to ask you, please do engage with the project. Maybe that's not what you wanted to do, that was not your first choice, but if you look into it, you may find that it's a really exciting, a new topic that you, you know, didn't consider to begin with. But as you study the topic, you will find it's interesting. It will open up new areas of engineering. So, so please do engage with your project, okay? Um, you will learn from it if you engage. If you don't engage with your project, I can guarantee you will not do well in your dissertation project. Okay? Dissertation project is a critical component in your studies here in Manchester. Uh, it's a requirement of your accreditation, okay, of your degree. Um, and so you don't have a choice, you have to engage with it. Okay, hopefully you're enthusiastic, you want to work on your project. Okay, so I've, I've just um, included this year um, a slide on project allocation, okay? This is an important topic. Um, this year we've got a especially large cohort, okay? Uh, so I just wanted to clarify a few things. We, we're still updating, we're still tweaking uh, the last few projects, the last few supervisors, um, but we have constraints, okay? You have been allocated a project, okay? You cannot change your supervisor, right? So I think for the large ma majority, you already know your supervisor, right? Okay, just want to check. Um, can you raise your hand if you do not know who your supervisor is, who your, okay, let's change the question. Uh, if you don't know what your project code is. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so not too many. Okay, so at the end of this session, 
I'll have some time to speak with those of you individually, okay? So the way it works um, is student can access the project code uh, via the second year bidding unit. Okay, this is where all the project codes, the allocated project codes have been uh, uploaded. Okay, however, there are some special cases. Okay, the returning students, for example, have to be um, um, dealt with um, using a separate process. Okay, um, and there may be some difficult case. Okay, we have supervisors who are who um, have moved to uh, academic lead. Uh, and we did not have notice, okay? So some projects have been removed from the list, okay? So bear with us, right? There's no point in uh, perpetuating, continuing a, a dispute about projects if the supervisor is not there or if the supervisor is over allocated, okay? So try to, you know, engage with the process um, and, not, don't, uh, and don't spend energy and time perpetuating a dispute, okay? Uh, so hopefully it won't happen this year, okay? Right, so you've been allocated a project. Hopefully it's the one you wanted. Otherwise, um, you can discuss with your supervisor about the project scope, okay? So maybe, you know, in this unit, we allow students to bid for other projects, not in their own discipline. Okay, this is seen as a positive experience. Okay, a student from management maybe applies applied to a project in um, in um, fluid fluid dynamics. Okay, so doing these sort of things helps to um, uh, broaden your horizon. I know it's a cliche phrase, but it could open up uh, new new ideas, new direction for future careers. Okay, so if that is the case, okay. Talk with your supervisor. Explain to them, okay, I'm coming from the management, project management discipline. Uh, can we tweak the project? It's better if you even come up with your own suggestions. Look, look at the, um, search the topic a little bit and come up with suggestions. Try to build a positive dialogue with your supervisor. Okay, there is a little bit of scope. Okay, for adjustment of projects. Um, there may be some cases where you can swap a project titles with the same supervisor. Talk with the supervisor, okay? Be constructive, okay? Don't turn up to your first session and, you know, tell the supervisor, your project is rubbish, I don't want to do that, I want another one. Give me another one. Okay, you will not get what you want if you have these sort of discussions. Okay, so adjustments can be made, okay? Possibly a, a, a swap of project titles. Um, we are allowing a little bit more flexibility this year than we had in previous years because we have such a large cohort and um, we are constrained in terms of our pools of supervisor and our portfolio of available projects, okay? So you can play a little bit, have a discussion with your supervisor, but we cannot allow you to change supervisor. Okay, so, you know, sometimes I have students coming to me and asking, yes, but I, um, I didn't read the project description. Okay, or I mistyped in the project bid. Okay, I'm sorry, but you were asked to check. Okay, so, um, so you can't change project supervisor, but you can um, adjust the scope of your project. Okay. There are some cases where the supervisor will ask you, okay, to change your project to a different one in the portfolio. Yeah, did, did Dr. Allegra just say that? Maybe I misheard, yes, yes, okay. We have some residual issues with, uh, some projects have been over allocated, so your supervisor can make the request for you to change to a different project within their portfolio. Okay, hopefully not many cases, but if this happens to you, okay, if the, your supervisor asks you this question, try to be constructive, okay? We don't do that to annoy you, okay? We don't do that to annoy the students. It's because we have our own constraint, okay? Are there any questions? 
Okay. So I think we'll have some time at the end of this session if you want to ask individually uh, specific questions about your, your case. Okay, so that's project allocation out of the way. You've been with us for two years now, okay, so you know how things work. All the information on units are on the blackboard, okay? So have a look. Hopefully you've already looked at the blackboard space. The front page introduces the unit, okay? You've got all the contact details, not the contact details, but the names of all the uh, academics uh, and unit uh, leaders involved in the project. Okay, with some of the pictures on the right hand side. A useful contact is the email address that we use for generic uh, questions. soe.programs at manchester.ac.uk. Um, right? And some more links at the bottom of the front page. Uh, there's a lot of important stuff on the left hand side in these tabs. Okay, so for example, if you click on the course information, okay, you, you know all that, right? But if you click on um, 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 course information, you will see the uh, learning outcomes. Okay, this comes from the unit specifications, learning outcomes, and the project handbook. Can you see at the bottom here? Yeah. So project handbook, I will come back to this. This is maybe the most important piece of the most important document in this uh, unit. Okay, I will come back to this. I've put the project handbook both in the course information uh, page on Blackboard, but also in the main page. Okay, in the main page. So it's in two places, you can't miss it, no excuse, okay? I didn't find the project handbook. Okay, you can't, it's not a good excuse, okay? And then the assessment. If you look at the tab on the left-hand side, assessment and feedback. Right. That is the other most important bit of Blackboard you need to look at. This is where you will need to submit all your assignments. This is obviously, it's a, it's a coursework unit, okay? Um, and this is where you submit. You will find some assignments, okay? Some of these links will not open until you submit another assignment. So you need to check the prior assignments, like the malpractice quiz, you need to submit, otherwise you will not be able to submit your final report, okay? From time to time, you know, uh, every, um, other, uh, every other year, a student can't submit the final dissertation because they didn't realize they had to pass the online academic quiz, okay? If you don't pass this it's a small assignment, okay, malpractice quiz. If you don't complete this assignment, you will not be able to submit your final dissertation because you will not have access to the link, okay, and you will get a penalty for late submission. Okay, so this is something I would like you to do in the early weeks, okay? Have a look at all that. Okay. Is it, is it better? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so you, you need to do the uh, academic malpractice test, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Any other questions? Yeah? Can I ask, can you raise your hand if you have looked at the Blackboard space already? Okay, quite a few hands. Okay, good. Project handbook. Okay, as I said, this is the most important document. It tells you all the details, um, the timelines, the assignments, what is expected and when in the unit. Okay, so can you raise your hands if you have already downloaded and looked at the handbook. Okay, two hands. Wow, okay, no, three hands. Okay, thank you. Right, so you, need, you know what you need to do after this session. Go back on the blackboard and download the project handbook. Okay, what is 
the, um, okay, let's say if you submit your final disert dissertation report one minute late, what is the penalty? Ten percent, yes. Yeah. So just one minute late, and you have ten percent penalty. Okay, that means you need to submit early. You may well have, uh, you know, your computer might crash. Just five minutes, okay? You, you wanted to submit, you left five minutes, okay? Um, you, you, you were just ready to submit at five to six p.m., okay? And your computer crashed. Okay, you couldn't submit. You submitted, uh, I don't know, at uh, quarter past. Okay, you have ten. You have lost ten percent. So make sure you submit early. Submit two hours. Okay, two hours should leave you enough time if your computer crashed to resubmit. Okay, email submissions are not allowed. Okay, I, I will come back to that later. Okay, can you copy and paste from a journal paper or from a book into your final dissertation report? Can you copy and paste? No. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, so you can, in some cases, uh, if you use quotation mark and if you include the, uh, the, the reference. Okay? Uh, can you copy and paste a figure from um, a, a paper, a book? Yes, you can. As long. Yeah? <laughs> exactly. Thank you. I, I think I'm going to ask you to give this uh, introduction. <laughs> Um, yes, so whenever, uh, I think you are actually expected to copy and paste figures, okay? In your literature review, okay, we will expect um, you to illustrate your literature review with um, uh, figures from, from, from um, the papers you found, or the books, or the, the, the journals. Uh, but you need the reference in the figure caption, okay? And in the text, also, okay? Um, so... I mean, it's, it, it sounds like it's um, easily avoidable, okay? But you can, um, by mistake, get in trouble, okay? You're rushed in time. You, okay, you, you, you copy and paste from different papers, okay? You, you think, okay, I will reword that. I will change that. I will rewrite it later, okay? But the following week, you know, you're rushed in time. The deadline is just on, on Thursday, 6 p.m. You don't have the time. So you leave this text copied and pasted in your report, and you get caught. Okay? So what is important, it can happen. Okay, it can happen. What is important is to include the reference. Okay? If you've done that, okay, it's not good, but, but you've done it. If you have included the reference, in the text, we cannot, you can argue it's not intentional. Okay? You did not claim that this was your work. Okay? It was, this is a part of your review uh, and you forgot to change it. Okay? If you get caught in, this, um, in the, uh, um, the, the assessment of malpractice, it's not a pleasant experience. But if at least you can argue that this was not intentional, then you should be okay. Okay? It, it's not okay, but you will get away with it, okay? After some painstaking process to defend your work, right? Uh, so, as a practice, always make sure you include the reference, okay? When you use source from somebody else. Right, um, this is a large uh, unit, okay? The largest unit uh, we have. Uh, we, we've got a very large cohort, I said it before. So this project is not run by a single person, okay? Um, uh, um, my name's uh, Olivier Allegra. I probably should have introduced myself at the beginning. I think I forgot. Um, so I'm, I'm the uh, um, acting coordinator for this unit. Uh, we're looking for somebody to, to, uh, to take over 
um, next year, but uh, for the time being, I will be running this unit. Um, but we've got other academics, other people involved in running the unit. Um, because of the breadth of topics, of discipline, uh, we have split our project into different fields of expertise, right? Um, your, your supervisors are all experts in their field, um, but there's too many different fields, okay, several different fields. So we, we have grouped projects by field of expertise, and each field is um, managed, coordinated by uh, a theme lead, okay? So if you look, if you look in the um, uh, project structure on Blackboard, you will see the different fields. For example, we've got aer aerodynamics, autonomous systems, um, which, is which is led by Dr. Um, Rizai Ravesh. Okay, thermofluids, Dr. Tim Kraft, management, uh, Ms. Helen Domson, uh, Tindal and environment engineering, Tim Foster, okay, is the lead. Elijah Borodin is the lead for structures and extreme environments. Okay, materials, it is Dr. Kalikadna. And for man manufacturing, it's Dr. Otto Bakker. Okay, so you should, or you, you have been allocated within a theme. You will see that in the group sessions. Okay, uh, if, you, if you look at your project code, Okay, project code, refer back to the Excel spreadsheet, the Excel spreadsheet that you used to choose your projects. Okay, in the uh, third or fourth column, um, it tells you what the theme is. Okay, it will be one of these seven. Okay. Right, okay, so I, w I won't say um, any more on the uh, project structure. Um, how do we communicate, okay? So th there's 530 students at least in this unit, okay, under this, um, th this um, project structure. This used to be all under the, the School of Maze, okay? We've restructured the university, um, but the result is that there's a, there's a, there are many, many of you, okay? So we have to be uh, careful and structured in the way we communicate, okay, you don't email all your questions to me, okay, I wouldn't be able to manage communication with 530 students, okay, so there are channels for communication, your first point of communication is with your supervisor, of course, okay, so make sure next week you start, engage um, uh, with, with your supervisor, you will have their um, email address, okay? You should get in touch with them this week, okay? Make sure they are aware you will be working under their supervision, okay? It is your responsibility to check, okay? They should also check, okay? But make sure you do check. Um, okay, so your supervisor. Uh, and then the second point of contact is the group leads, okay? These, these theme leads that I just had on the previous slides. Okay, don't miss the first group session. This is where you will meet the group leads. Right? Okay, and then there's the, the, the blackboard. Of course, you, you know that now. You've been here for two years. The discussion boards, okay? So what, what uh, we'd like to see is um, um, discussions between the students, okay? You can ask questions to the uh, supervisors and the group team leads, but if there's a question, you see there's a question from another student, you know the answer, why don't you jump in and, uh, and, and write the answer? Okay, and it will help both of you, okay, if, if, if both students engage in conversation, exchange their point of view, it will help both students. Okay, so do have a look at the Blackboard uh, discussion forum. Okay, and for more um, generic questions, not specifically about the project, okay, uh, it's soe.programs at manchester.ac.uk. We used to have a project-specific email address, uh, but we've, uh, we've lost that since the um, restructuring of the uh, departments. Maybe 
in the future we will um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a project mailbox again. But for the time being, it's soe.programs.ac.uk. But if you have a question about a specific aspect of your project, okay, I've got my supervisor asked me to resolve Maxwell's equations, and I don't know how to do it. Don't ask there, right? You need to discuss with your supervisor if you're struggling with technical aspects. Okay, if you've got a broader question, so if there's, um, you know, you, you really don't get on with your supervisor or something, then it's the group lead. Okay, hopefully uh, any issue can be resolved. Um, but if, if, if the, the problem relates to, um, I don't know, do, can I apply to um, um, uh, extension or something, then maybe you can use soe.programs at monster.ac.uk. Any questions so far? On, on the stuff we've talked about so far? Okay, so this is a unit, a project that spans both semester. Okay, you, you're not going to work on your own for all that time. Uh, you don't turn up to meet the supervisor at or contact the supervisor online or something at, uh, at 1 a.m. in the morning. We have structured your work. Okay, yeah, one question. Um, yes, so, so it's a good question. Uh, so you've, you've been allocated a own project. Which group is this under? Okay. Um, so it will be allocated under the, the other projects that the supervisor submitted. Um, there may be some flexibility if you want to choose your group sessions. Okay. Because um, it may be that your supervisor um, typically um, has project, supervisor's project in thermal fluids, okay? But this project, this project that you're doing is more relevant to aerodynam aerodynamics or, 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 or manufacturing, okay? Um, it's not written in stone, okay? You can, you can go to the other group meetings, okay? We've been trying to introduce more flexibility uh, um, into this in the last few years. So you, you, can, you can attend some, some of the other group sessions. Okay. But generally, the, um, the work is structured by these meetings. Every other week, you have an individual meeting. The first one is next week. Make sure, check it's in your personal timetable. If it's not in your personal timetable, it's probably not in your supervisor's either. Okay, there may be some, some organizational issue, you see, so make sure you check, right? Um, so next week, we used to have these meetings always at the same time on Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday mornings. Uh, now the, the unit has grown, it's too large to have all the meetings at the same time. So your individual meeting could be on Monday, it could be on Tuesday, on, on Friday um, afternoon. Um, so check, it is your responsibility to check and contact your supervisor, okay? Uh, so first individual meeting next week, and then it's two weeks after that, another individual meeting. In the intervening weeks, it's the group meetings, okay? So it's every other week, individual meeting, every other, um, the other week, if you see what I mean, is a group meeting. Don't miss any of these meetings, because you will be on the back foot, right? Um, so this, uh, you've got this in the uh, project handbook, okay? Um, the first, uh, first session, if you look on the left-hand side, uh, it's by week, okay? The, the week beginning, so it's not the date of the meeting, right? We can't, we can't write these tables uh, with specific dates because there are too many projects um, and meetings at different dates, okay? But, so the week beginning, uh, 18th of this, September, so it's this week, we've got the introduction uh, session, okay? Next week, starting 25th of September, you've got your first individual meeting, as I said, and group meeting after that, 
Okay? The first two group sessions are joined between several, uh, two or three uh, themes. Okay? But after that, after that, it will be a single theme has got a single um, session on its own. Okay, so aerospace um, and um, automotive system has got their own session. Okay, um, and there are five group sessions in semester one, four group sessions in semester two. Right? Um, be careful of the assignments. Okay. Your first assignment is at the end of week two. Okay, you need you need to you can't ignore your project. You need to start start working working on a, on the topic. Look at the research questions. What is it that I am trying to find out? What are the big questions? Okay, so I'm looking at a particular aspect of modeling um, air flows. What is the point? Why am I looking at this? Who is interested? Why is it interesting? What do I expect to find? What is the scope? of the project. Okay, so semester one, semester two, okay, that's, that's in the project handbook. Um, okay, so sh should I go through this? Yeah, so pr um, the second semester, the big thing is the post day, okay, at the sort of the first half of the second semester, the big thing is the post day, okay, and uh, so the post today may seem far away, okay, in semester two. That's, um, that's um, the 6th of March, okay? Uh, okay, so that's in week six, okay? So you don't need to worry about post today um, at the beginning of semester two, right? It's, it's in week six, okay? You don't need to worry about it. Well, actually, you do, because there's uh, many posters to print, right? So we've asked students to submit their poster, okay? Submit the poster, it's in week four, on Monday, okay, beginning of week four. So when you get to the beginning of semester two, okay, you've just had your exams, uh, you, you, I know you want to, you know, take it easy for, for a, a couple of weeks. Well, actually, you need to get on with the project because the poster needs to be submitted soon. Okay, so, so that's the first one, okay? Uh, poster submission, you've got two group sessions before that, then you submit your poster, um, then it's a couple of weeks until poster day, okay? Poster day is a big event, okay? You will present your work to two senior academ academics, and it's a, it's a kind of social event as well, okay? We have um, all the students um, in, in, the, in the main hall, in MACD um, together, but we also have external visitors. You know, it's a big thing for us, for, for, for the uh, academic community as well. Um, we have visitors, so last year we had um, visitors for, from the uh, Royal Academy of Sweden, okay? We had uh, companies coming, so, so it's, it's a big thing, you know, it's, it's not just for the students, it's also for, for us. Uh, so post today, okay, then we've got uh, we've got a, a week um, um, uh, individual meeting, okay. Then we've got the Easter break, so three weeks. You can catch up your breath during the Easter break. Uh, some students, the ones who are late with their project, spend the three weeks working on their project. Okay, this is what happens if you don't plan um, properly. Okay, uh, if, you're, if you're on track, okay, you've got everything, um, you're on the top of everything, you can take your uh, Easter holiday day break, otherwise you will have to work on your project. After the uh, Easter break, you've got a, summative, um, a formative assignment, writing sample submission, this is a short piece of, of um, uh, it's like the, the beginning of your dissertation. You submit, you don't get a mark, you get feedback from your supervisor. Okay, and finally, the big one, the final report submission. Um, so it's on Thursday, 2nd of May. Okay, so it's, it's in week 11, okay, because we need enough time to mark all these dissertations before, um, be, you know, before the, um, the um, exam boards. Okay, so the next couple of slides are about 
assessment, right? I've, 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 I've talked about this, um, um, but uh, so, so, so this unit is, is, is um, assessed and, and structured with um, two formative, uh, two, three formative assessments and three summative assessments. So you know, you know the, uh, the jargon. Formative assessment is it's an assignment. Okay, you submit like if it was for a mark. You don't get a mark. You get feedback. Okay, it's an opportunity for you to get some um, some, some guidance from your supervisor. Okay, so the first one is. Uh, in, two, in two weeks' time, okay, in week two, at the end of week two, you submit the research question, an initial plan. Okay? Two weeks' time, yeah? Um, and this, so that's 6th of October, if I remember right. Uh, the second formative assessment is the project proposal. It's a kind of literature review, okay? The beginning of your literature review, uh, 6th of November. Okay, it's a formative assessment, but it is submitted at the same time as a summative assessment. Okay, so if you look at the, the lines below, the bullet points be, below, it's summative assessment. Okay, ju just to complete on the formative, uh, the writing sample in semester two, uh, it's the uh, 8th of April, if I remember right. Uh, that's your last formative assessment in semester two. Okay, that's the last chance you have to get some formal feedback without a mark. Okay, so don't waste the chance to get feedback by not submitting. Yeah? So the project proposal will be on the 6th of November? Yeah. Yes, we Yeah, so 6th of November, yeah? Thank you. I didn't hear the full question. So you're asking about the first summative assignment, yeah? The project proposal and plan. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have your initial meeting, you do your research, and you write what you think are the main point, the research questions, okay? And you need to write a first plan, okay? Planning is important, okay? You will submit your first plan, you will get it wrong. I can guarantee that the first plan you submit, you will not be able to follow, okay? You will do things at different times, but it is still important, okay, to start thinking of planning right at the beginning, okay? So it doesn't matter if you get, every, you get it wrong, okay, um, in this first assignment, okay? You will probably get it wrong, okay? But it allows, it um, opens up, it structures the discussion with your supervisor the following week. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? Yeah? Um, so hopefully they will. Uh, they've been they've been asked, you know, to 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 make themselves available. So if they if you can't have the meeting in week one, hopefully you can have the meeting in week two. Okay. Um, so the the next be best thing is uh, online meeting. Okay, if they're away at a conference. Okay. So try to have this meeting. Uh, if you really they're not responding, email us. Okay, email the group, uh, the group um, lead, okay, or email SOE programs, okay. If they don't engage with you, then get in touch with us, okay. We'll, we'll make sure they contact you, okay. Uh, if, if your um, project is delayed, if the beginning of the project is delayed, maybe there's some questions about the project assignment, um, Okay, try to submit this in any case, okay? Uh, if you can't submit, then we'll give you an extension. Yeah? 
Okay. So if, if there's, if there's um, issues with, with the project or with the supervisors, uh, you know, don't, don't laugh. It, uh, don't laugh. It, it does happen. Okay. There may, may be various reasons. So we, give, we can give you an extension. Uh, so it's not so much uh, the formative assessment. It's the, the summative, the one on the 6th of November. Okay. We can give you a uh, one-week extension. Okay. Uh, but if, if, you, if, if you just had a cold or something, then that's not, we won't give you an extension for, for, for just anything, right? Yeah, so good, good question, thank you. Yeah, any other questions? Um, so, yes, I was, uh, I was just saying formative assignment, writing sample, then summative, Summative assignment, a detailed project plan on 6th of November. The poster, of course, is the big one at the beginning of semester two. And the final report. Final report is, of course, worth 80% of your, um, of, of your uh, unit. So that's the one you need to focus on. How do you get feedback during, during all these um, um, during your work, okay? Um, with your supervisor, okay, make sure you write a list of questions before every individual session. Make the most of these sessions, okay? Your supervisor is allocated some time for supervision, okay? But they don't have infinite time, right? Everyone is busy, okay, do, doing lots, lo lots of things, uh, teaching, lecturing, research, um, so they don't have an um, infinite amount of time. If you want to make most of your individual meetings, you should prepare your questions beforehand. Okay, the group sessions, okay, D do engage, um, attend the group sessions, um, and you can talk with the, um, the, the, the theme lead. Okay, uh, during the poster sessions, Right? You will present your work to two academics. One is the, uh, the supervisor. The other is the second marker. Okay? The second marker at the poster session will also be the second marker of your final report, final report in most cases. Okay? So I've seen, I've seen cases where uh, a student um, was given advice during the poster presentation by the second marker, and they ignored the advice. Okay, ignore the advice, but then the second marker also marks the final report. So don't ignore the advice that you're given, okay? It's not just your supervisor. The second marker has got the same weight in terms of marking as the supervisor. Okay, when you write your report, you should be careful because it's not only your, your supervisor. Uh, the supervisor may be, uh, you know, an expert in laser processing, but the second marker won't be. So if you, if you spend your, if, if you write in jargon, uh, a very specific terminology, um, something that the second marker cannot read, you will lose marks. Yeah. We had a question, yeah? Poster, yeah. Um, so if you, if you look at the um, handbook, you will see that, um, Part of the work is to present, okay, part of your project is to present your work verbally in front of a A1 poster, okay? So just like a poster, you design your poster with uh, project titles, a short introduction, some figures of your initial results, and the analysis that you have made, okay? So it's part of the assessment, right? The point of this dissertation unit is to present, to do work, an extensive, uh, extensive piece of work, but also to present your work in, a, in different contexts. Okay, so the big assignment is the dissertation. Okay, it's a dissertation report, a technical report that you submit at the end. But we also want you to present your work verbally to an audience. Okay, and that is the point of the poster. Okay, you don't, you don't just... Um, uh, turn up and talk w without anything. Okay, you have the support of your poster. You design your poster. Okay, it's an A1 format, um, and uh, and present your work based on that. Okay, it's not a PowerPoint presentation. It's a it's a printed poster. 
Okay, so you will see, um, you know, um, in, um, in March when we do it, it's a big event. There are many, many people with poster stands, okay? The, um, the posters are all um, um, fixed to, to the, uh, the panels, okay? So, and at your allocated session, you will present your work to your two markers. Yeah? So hang on, I can't, I can't hear you at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Did, did you hear the question? Okay, good question. There are two markers. Okay, both markers uh, weigh the same. Okay, so the final mark is the average. Okay, uh, for the final report. Okay, for the poster also, but of course for the um, the first um, assessment. Um, the first assignment, uh, no, it's just the supervisor, right? So when you write your report, when you present your poster, you have to remember that, right? You've, you've, you've met with your supervisor many times, you know what they want, okay, what they're asking for, okay? But bear in mind, okay, your supervisor knows this, but that you're presenting this not just to your supervisor, you're writing, you're presenting for a broader audience, okay? So your, your uh, technical report is something that could be read, could be published really, okay? Could be read by somebody else who knows nothing about the project, okay? So don't start your, your dissertation or your presentation with some jargon about laser processing or about modeling thermodynamics um, in a very specific context. You have to introduce the topic, okay? So I hope that answers your question. Anything else? No? Okay, um, so poster presentation. Uh, feedback also. Uh, when you work, uh, if you're doing an experimental project, for example, you will work in the lab, okay? There are experimental officers, technicians, if you work in the make spaces, there are technicians. Uh, if, you, if you're working in the computer clusters, there's support for, for... What is... Oh, okay. <laughs> Some interference. Uh, so, so make use of the support. Ask them questions. Yes. Say that again. Um, so you can use online resources. Um, just uh, be careful about algorithm that they don't, you know, produce um, silly result. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can try. Okay. Um, but make sure you check what these algorithms produce and, and um, rewrite anything that doesn't make sense. Okay? So, yeah, I, I, I'm aware that there, there are some special tools. Um, so you have to be careful how you use these things. Uh, don't expect, you know... Um, all the work to be done by some algorithm, right? That we are asking for um, so experimental work, modeling work, okay? And some critical analysis, right? Don't just copy and paste or input the data to some AI and expect, um, you know, you push the button and your report is written for you. We need some critical analysis. Okay, and that's and, and the presentation. This is what is being marked. Yeah. Okay. So feedback, written feedback, okay, from your assignments, the summative assessment and um, formative assessments. Okay, so in Blackboard. Planning, okay. Planning is essential. If you don't plan your work, you will 
get in trouble very quickly. Okay, structure your work. You know, we have the individual, the group sessions, but all the rest is for you to do. Okay, in the early weeks, I would expect you to look at the handbook and the blackboard. Check the assignments, check the timelines, what happens, that, what happens when. Um, so, so and, and write a plan. R write a plan. Every week you should up update your plan. Write a Gantt chart. Okay, we ask you to write a Gantt chart uh, and to plan your work in, in week two, but we don't ask you to submit other plans, but you should do it anyway. Okay, undertake all the early assignments, the malpractice quiz. Okay, review and refine the topic. You need to search, um, uh, search papers, okay? And remember, the, the, this is the overall work is 300 hours for the whole two semesters, okay? So you need to produce something that is consistent with 300 hours of work. If you don't plan your work, if you don't spend the time, it will show, okay? If you're, if you're uh, using um, the AI um, uh, tools that, that um, you, you were thinking about um, and think that you can't spend the hours, it will show in your report, okay? It will show. So, so make sure you plan your work. Spend uh, around one and a half day per week. Okay, um, if you if you spend um, if you if you start your work, you know um, semester one, semester two, and you find you, sp you 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 end up spending 40 or 50 hours per week on your project. Okay, that's too much. Okay, you need some time for the other units. This this is one of um, um, uh, to, one part of your degree. It's not all your degree uh, work this year. Okay, so if you spend 40 or 50 hours, that's too much. You need to talk with your supervisor or with a group lead. If you spend two hours per week, then that's a problem as well. There's no way you can produce enough work if you spend only two hours per week. Okay, so the answer is planning. Planning, write Gantt charts. Okay, update your Gantt charts every week. Um, yeah, some questions there? No? Yeah? Questions? No? Okay. Um, so you've got to be careful of um, things like um, the skills you need. If you've got a, a, a programming, a modeling project, and you, le you need to learn the language, you don't know how to program or to model in this software, it takes time to learn how to program, okay? How to model uh, on ANSYS or, or uh, on uh, um, Abacus and so on, okay? So you need to allow time, okay? Make sure you can access the resources in a cluster or on your computer. If you need to use labs, okay? Labs are difficult to access, okay? We, we, we try to make uh, labs accessible as much as possible to students, but there's some... Um, uh, heavy, uh, bureaucratic, unfortunately, uh, process to go through. You need to write a risk assessment. Your supervisor will need to make the case and arrange for you to access the lab. Yes? The one and a half day per week. Uh, so, 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 sorry, what's the question? Um, no, uh, it, it's not a th 36 hours, okay? It's maybe, I don't know, t 10, 15 hours per week, okay? What, what I mean is it's a scale, right? If you spend two hours, two or five hours, that's not enough, okay? If you spend, uh, if you spend uh, 40 hours, that's too much, yeah? Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Any, any other questions? Um, yes, so 
anything, anything like learning software, it takes time. Being able to access, okay, access labs, you need to learn how to use the machine, okay? You need to write the risk assessment. This takes time. So make sure in your planning that you allow for that time. Uh, if your, your project you know, is on using, a, I don't know, an ECM machine or a laser machine, you can't just turn up to the lab and start using the machine. You need to allow time to uh, write the risk assessment, get the training, planning your work. Okay. So build that into your plan. Oh, another one is ethical approval. Okay. It's easy to underestimate how much time it takes. If you need, I think if you need um, to access personal data or um, medical records or things like this, I'm not, I'm not too familiar myself with, with this, but I know it takes a lot of time. You need to um, write an application, go through a process before you can get approval. And that takes, that always takes ages. Okay, I think this is relevant to, for example, some of the management, uh, project management, uh, management projects. Okay, attend all the meetings. Yeah. Um, okay, so the first, first assignment, we talked about it. Um, uh, you need to make sure you attend the meeting with your supervisor. If, if, if there's a problem with the allocated time slot, try to arrange something. Uh, online meetings are not ideal, but they're better than no meetings. Okay, so if you can't meet with your supervisor in person, can you try arrange a Zoom meeting or something, or, or, or Skype? Okay, the checkpoints. Uh, so, I keep, I keep going on um, with the same, same points, really. Uh, structure your work, uh, semester one. If you've got experimental work, complete your risk assessment. If you've got uh, um, management of project, make sure you do the, um, the ethical review work. Okay. Uh, make sure you continue to expand your knowledge. Continue your, your uh, literature review throughout both semesters, okay? Um, write a project proposal, okay? That's the uh, second formative assessment in semester one, 6th of November, okay? Uh, and, and update your Gantt chart, okay? Uh, back, so semester one, um, week 11, okay? You need to know anything that you need to order Right, for experimental projects, anything that you need to order or something that you need to be made, you need to have submitted the order or submitted the request to machine by week 11, semester one. Okay, there's a backlog. You, you can see we have lot, many projects, okay? Um, so there's a backlog to make things, to buy things. So you can't, if you need, if you can't do your project, uh, unless you have a piece of equipment, you need to buy that piece of equipment before the end of semester one. If you wait, you wait for semester two, week three or four, before you order something, the chances are you will not get the thing before the end of the project or too late for you to use it and write up. Okay, so semester one, yeah, make sure you order everything you need. Okay, you get the feedback from the uh, initial assignment and from the project proposal. Semester two, checkpoints. Okay, again, plan your work. Okay, you know you've got the first, um, first assignment is the, um, uh, the, 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 the poster. Okay, uh, you need, so the poster, um, it's another thing. Um, students uh, think that they should have most of their result for the poster. Well, no, the poster, you know, it's submitted early, fairly early in semester two. So we know you don't have your final result, okay? Uh, so hopefully you, you can have some experimental results, some modeling results, but we know it's an intermediate uh, step in your project. So you, you should have a review of the literature. You should have um, established... Um, project aims and objectives, context, introduction, uh, and an idea of the experimental uh, setup, the model, and possibly some early results, okay? And the analysis that comes with the result, okay? If you don't have yet 
if you don't yet have result by the time you submit the poster, it's not, it's not a big deal, right? We understand it takes time, okay? Um, so that's, that's what happens. In, 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 um, at the beginning of semester two, you prepare for the poster, and by the time poster day takes place, two weeks later, you probably will have some more results. So you can talk about them, even if they're not uh, printed in your poster. Okay, so consider the weakness. Okay, what could be improved? Some draft conclusions, right? So you submit your poster on time, right? Okay, poster day in March. And then April, okay, there's the Easter break, right? Uh, after that, you have the uh, final formative assignment, the writing sample. That is another chance for you to get some more feedback. Last chance, really, before the final assignment. Okay, structuring your work, the final stage. You use the feedback from the poster. Remember the feedback you got from your second um, second marker. Okay, take into account um, uh, all, all the feedback you got. Make sure you analyze the result. Don't just copy and paste uh, screenshots from your model or screenshots from the uh, micros from the electron microscope used to analyze your samples, you need to analyze the result, okay? So um, wh wh what, we, what, we, what we like to see, what we want to see in a final report, okay? So um, figure showing the result, uh, the text describes, okay, what we can see in the figure, and then the discussion develops what it means, okay? Why is it interesting, okay? Uh, how could it be used uh, or what applications could be um, used, could, could use this? What is the impact? Okay, um, when you write your review or when you discuss the result, you use reference, okay? Make sure you use reliable um, sources, okay? You can't reference an AI, okay? Maybe the AI codes told you to say this, okay? You can't reference that. You need to reference um, published sources, books, journal papers, okay, scientific papers. You can um, reference online, okay, as long as you do it the proper way. Okay, proofread. We, if, if we can't read what you've written, we can't mark it. Or we'll have to assume it's not, it, 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 it doesn't mean anything, right? Submit on time, okay? Don't lose 10% because your computer crashed five minutes before the deadline. I said this before. Okay, uh, common issues, trip-ups, how to get an ordinary degree, okay. Topic refinement, okay. There is um, some flexibility, I, I said this before, okay. Some flexibility to change the scope, to adjust the scope. In some cases, to swap project titles with your supervisor, okay. But this needs to take place within the first two weeks, okay. Next week, the week after. after. After that, you should know what your project is, what your topic is, okay? If you don't, then you're gonna start getting um, behind, right? So topic refinement, yes, but within reasons, within reason, okay? Um, if, you are, if you don't know what your topic is, by the beginning of semester two, you really start, <laughs> you're really in trouble. Okay, by the middle of semester two, you will likely fail your, um, your, your unit. Okay, so if you get 40% or less in this unit, you will not, you will not get an honors degree. Okay, you will get an ordinary degree. So it's not, it's not something to, you know, to, to dismiss. It's important. Okay, uh, so resources. Um, so you, can, you, you have a small budget. It's not um, fixed what you can access, okay? If you ask for 500 pounds, you will not get it. 300 pounds, probably not. 200 pounds, maybe, if you can justify. Typically, around 100 or 150 pounds should be okay, but you still need to justify it, okay? Make sure your supervisor agrees, okay? Then you need to put the request, okay, for purchase. Um, if, you, if there's a key piece of equipment you need to buy to, do your, to finish your project, 
and you place the order middle of semester two, you will not get it in time. It takes, it takes um, more time than you think to get things delivered and collected, okay? Um, so yeah, so, so planning, buying things uh, early, okay? All the purchase should be in the system by December, okay? Um, understanding your, your, your topic, make sure you have time, you allow yourself enough time to familiar, familiarize with the equipment, okay, if you're using uh, a piece of experimental equipment, or with um, software modeling, okay, and you will need, so you need time so that if you get in trouble, if you struggle, you have time to ask for help. It could be from experiment officer, it could be from your supervisor, but that takes time. People are busy, you know, uh, so your supervisor is busy um, uh, doing a lot of other things, not just supervising your project, so make sure you give them time, okay? If you, if you call them at 1 a.m. before a deadline the next day, you know, tough. It's, it's your, your mistake. You haven't managed your planning. Okay, ethics and data protection, uh, it takes time to get approval. Okay, so make sure you put that early. I think it, it needs to go in semester one. Okay. Um, so discuss with your supervisor, discuss with your group lead. Okay, procurement. Okay, so I'm coming back on, onto that once again. Uh, you can only buy things from approved suppliers. Okay, so maybe, but I, I've, I've found it on Alibaba. It's, it's 10 pounds. We can't buy from... Um, Alibaba or whatever supplier, we have to buy from University of Manchester approved supplier. We can't put new supplier in the system. Uh, we have to use what there is already. Okay, so RS components or Farnell are okay, um, but not, not anything. Okay, even if you know where it is, can't be bought, even if it's cheaper. Okay, so bear that in mind. Okay, all ordering should be completed by the end of semester one. Okay, project killers, how to get an ordinary degree. Um, bad planning. Okay, you needed a piece of software and you didn't realize it wasn't available in the cluster until middle of semester two. Well, what can we do? You should have requested earlier. Okay, or it takes too much time to learn. You don't know how to use it. Or you needed um, to do your project in a lab, okay, but there's been no lab request or lab, lab access. Okay, you can't get to the lab. What can you do? You, you can't complete your project. Okay, but it, it, it's not, you shouldn't um, um, uh, let your supervisor take all responsibility, okay? Because it's your interest. If, if your supervisor is falling behind, because your supervisor may be under pressure as well, may have a lot of other commitments. So make sure you remind your supervisor, um, hang on, uh, I, I, I do need to be able to access this lab. Have you sorted the lab access? When can I access the lab? And the experimental officers, okay? If, if it is about lab access, there will be experimental officers, okay? So make sure you take responsibility. Don't just... Um, um, dismiss responsibility and, and um, uh, let, let all the work um, to be done by your, your supervisor. You, sh you, you need to take ownership of your project. Okay, Gantt chart, um, I think I've, I've said that five or six times now. Um, update your Gantt chart every week, okay? Uh, include all the other activities, uh, presentation. Uh, make sure you use spelling or grammar, you know, if the AI tells you how to write English, in English, yes, use it, okay? If it, if it allows you to write better English and better, uh, uh, and avoid uh, spelling mistakes, okay? Uh, in any case, always proofread, check the grammar, check the spelling, okay? Um, make sure your figure numbers are correct, yeah? Check the figure numbers, figure captions, referencing all the figures taken from somewhere else needs to be referenced. If you don't reference, it means that you have produced the figure. If you have included the figure without a um, reference, that is plagiarism. Okay? 
don't get caught into the um, malpractice process just by mistake. It's not a pleasant experience. Okay, use the Harvard system for referencing. Okay, plagiarism can be extremely severely punished. Okay, I, I had unfortunately one of my students um, try to copy, um, uh, claim somebody else's work. So uh, from a paper, okay? So uh, the dissertation seemed uh, to be, you know, very, very good, okay? Lots of interesting stuff, but I found out this was not his work. This was from a published paper. And it was clear that the student um, intended to um, claim this work as his own. The paper was not referenced anywhere. I checked, but all the figures, all the figures had been copied and pasted without the reference. The student even changed the color to make it look like it was his own. But you, could, you, you can see when things have been copied. So, um, so I reported it, okay? Uh, the student, you know, he, he, uh, he wasn't happy, you know? <laughs> he asked me for, to forgive him, okay? But the problem is, I'm, I'm the supervisor. I've reported this student has committed plagiarism. I wrote my report, submitted to the faculty process. Then I have nothing to do with it anymore. Okay? I, I can't, uh, you know, forgive the student because it, it has to go through the process, and that's not a pleasant experience for the student. Okay? So don't get caught. Yeah. Uh, if it gives you reference in a correct format, then yes, you can use it. Okay, I think, uh, I think words, um, there's, there, there are some tools in uh, Microsoft Word that helps you to put reference automatically. Okay, um, so you can use some tools as long as they give you the right um, online tools, um, as long as they give you the right format. Okay, and, um, and, and it needs to be your own work. Right? Um, don't, don't just copy and paste for, from internet or something. Okay? Um, and yeah, so 300 hours of work. You need to demonstrate a substantial um, uh, piece of work. Uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, so, so um, that's, that's all the main points I wanted to cover today. I hope that you will enjoy uh, working on your project this semester. And good luck. Yeah. So, if you have specific questions, you can come and ask me uh, now.
Yeah. yeah, so you've received oh. an email, right? I don't you should you should know your supervisor. I've known my supervisor, yeah. Oh, I so there you go, yeah. Okay, so it's... So you don't need anything else. You don't need a project code. code. For own project, oh, you've okay. defined a project. You don't okay. need a project code. Okay, thanks, Professor. Is, okay. it, is it possible to check me as well? Yeah, so are, are you returning or are you... I'm an hour space. Uh, so you've been allocated, you submitted... Uh, yeah, um, I submitted the bidding thing. Bidding, okay, so what's your name? Yeah, so we looked yeah. at it, yeah? So, oh, so that's okay. the one, yeah. That's the one, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sorry, Sorry we've got two lines. Sorry, sorry, this is a very good question. Um, I know we can't appeal the decision companies that we've got, right? But is it a possibility that we can approach our supervisor to replace one of the topics that they are under? Uh, so, okay, so yes, um, but it's at the discretion of your supervisor. Right, right. You can't change supervisor, okay? This year we are giving 
just a little bit more flexibility because of the challenge we have with the large cohorts. Okay, you can ask your supervisor. But you can't change supervisors. You can't change no. topics. Just so if it's under uh, the same. So topics. Uh, I mean, topics under mean. the same supervisor. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, so so you can't can't change supervisor. Uh, no, uh, you can ask if one of the topics. Under the same supervisor. Under the same supervisor is still available. Okay, okay. All right. uh, just ask nicely. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so thank you so much. Yeah. yeah so um, I've been allocated to something that involves analysis. Um, yeah. And I have to from analysis as well as management. Um, management, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I think it's going to be one of these cases where you need to explain your situation with the supervisor. Right. Asking, to try to be constructive, okay? Yeah, I had emailed her about it. I said um, I didn't do modeling simulations, I'm in the management course, I realised that it's something that involves finite elements. Is it possible yeah. to switch to a project that involves management? Or so, because I, 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 she would not know um, about yeah. management. Okay, you should, you should have read okay, yeah. the, the project topic. So, um, can you ask her to um, reduce the, the um, technical? Aspect okay, the, the right. purely modeling, yeah. and um, I think you will need help from the group, the team leader, okay, right. about what is needed for a management project, and you will need to have a conversation with both supervisor yeah. and um, and management lead, okay. Um, so we we do allow students to change discipline for yeah. their project, right? right. Um, so see see uh, you know what they can do for you. Right. So remove the technical. Side the because mm. I haven't learned any of that because of the uh, management. Okay. So see see what what they say. Uh, it yeah. will be it probably will be um, you know a first for the supervisor as well, okay. right? Yeah. The supervisor should know that we allow um, change of right. uh, different disciplines. Yeah. yeah. All right. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Hi. Uh, I'm a returning student from Tunisia. Returning. Okay. Can I see one of the projects? I have emails. I mean, I'm one of those people that. The, the conflict about the project. I've been emailing a lot about SU programs. So, did you submit the fr um, yes, 10 so bids from the list yeah. we gave you? Okay. And so, what seems to be the problem? None of them was okay to me. I was just told that I need to pick up from another list. Yeah. So, so yeah. the problem is, so I that rings the bell. Okay. Yeah. I have looked. So there's been a uh, you know a couple of cases, a few cases. I've looked at all of them, right? I tried you know to to find the ones that the student asked. So it must have been I mean, you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but there's there is no. Th th I could not find a solution. Okay. Um, the trouble it's difficult, right? For okay, it's difficult for you, but for us as well, right? The supervisors from the list of projects that we've received are all over allocated, right? So what do we do? Um, so, uh, I was just thinking, if yesterday I submitted, I submitted, I submitted a request to do my own project. Possibly. Own project, yes, but under whom? Well, I talked to Marco Puyo. Ah, okay, so what did he say? He's in, the, he's in CC, yeah. but he hasn't replied because yesterday I talked to him and I explained the situation. He was like, okay, just... Uh, email as we program to the CC so that we can sort it out. Probably can so, so hang on, he, s he said what? That I emailed as we programs. With That's the, what he said. Yeah, with proposition for my own project. Okay, but, but uh, okay, so, we, so what, who is the supervisor? Yeah, well, he didn't say, he just said that uh, just email them and me in CC. So, so what, uh, what's the topic? What's the topic? about aircraft structures, composite materials, APA modeling. I saw that there are some tutors he said. No, no, no. no I. Because um, aerospace is, is difficult, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried that um, it will take uh, a number of weeks. If, if you want to continue, right, with, with uh, trying to to do that, it will take several weeks. Okay. Several weeks. It, it could do, yeah, yeah. So, so either you want to continue. I think your choice is this. So either, if you want a quick resolution, uh, just look at one of the projects that we sent you. Okay. In the September list. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, it, it will take uh, a number of weeks. So uh, I think uh, Mark Quinn will have to be involved in this discussion because I, I cannot allocate you without overloading one of the supervisors. There's a maximum number of, sup of students per supervisor if you sit. Okay. Anyone that is in the composites materials? Because I, I think yeah. if other, uh, so composites. Or composite or materials or aircraft structures or aircraft structures with composite materials. I come with from an internship already, so I have a lot of experience with that. I hope I won't get a lot of trouble to any tutor. Well, it's the time. So are you James Ashton by any chance? No, Petra. Huh? Petra. Chunga. Yeah, exactly. But you've been, you've been allocated. Oh. I'll take him too. Ah, what about, it's not on Blackboard. Ah, but because you, you're a returning student. Yeah. Okay, so this was in your list. I've, I've seen it. Yeah? I've looked at all of these cases, okay? Um... Oh, uh, I've mistyped, okay, it's attacking, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. it, it was on your list, okay? It was okay, but it's because it's, I don't have an appointment with him in... Uh, no, because... Uh, yeah, because for returning students it's a bit more difficult, yeah? We, uh, it, we, we struggle to get the, mm -hmm. you, you in the system, okay? Uh, so, can... I've, 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 sent, I've sent this, I've sent this to... SOE programs, but they have to do the timetabling. The timetabling is very challenging. So can you take the lead and contact? Uh, so it's Akin Atta. Yeah, uh, Akin Atta. Akin. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah. you're, you're okay with that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Thank you very right. much. I don't so know it's that I was number allocated. two. Yeah. Okay, because it, I didn't receive an email or something. In that okay. So the yeah, the people are the the the, the, the people from SOE programs are overloaded. Okay. okay. Uh, so I, and I, I spend my time looking at project, not Thank not writing emails. Okay, yeah. So. Hi. Um, all right. So I don't know if there's just an issue with me or what's happened to it. Yes. I'm not actually been allocated any project or supervisor. So are you? Okay, let's let's have a look. Um, I, I know. I'm sure I've submitted like I submitted third of July before on, the deadline on Blackboard. On Blackboard, and it says that I can, I can still view my submission. Okay, yeah. So what's your name? I'll match A L M A J D. No, just J D. No, yeah. Is that your name? Yep, that's me. No. No allocation, right? Oh. I have emailed you as well with uh, my list. Okay. So it looks like I saw it, but. Uh, it was unreadable. What do you mean? Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't read it. Yeah. Um, when you say read, what do you mean by it wasn't okay, readable? I will, I will show you. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I. So it, nobody else has that. So it's just no, me. No, no, but yeah. So every everyone has got project codes. I've got numbers. That was the numbers on the list that was given. Yeah. <coughs> no, no, no the, 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 the instructions ask to submit project okay. codes. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid I've, I haven't seen anybody had that problem. Okay. Oh, so I'm the only one in the... In the yeah, in so the, yeah. nobody else has made okay, that okay. mistake. Okay, so, I'm so what can I do now? Um, d you should have received an email with a um, list of projects, okay? I can... Okay, I'll send it to you now. So I'm no longer eligible oh. for the list that I've submitted? Uh, I'm afraid no, not because no. You, you didn't submit uh, correctly. So, so I have to pick out of that list then? Yes, uh, that's, that's the case because um, y there, w there was a mistake in your submission okay. and uh, 
we, we have to follow our process, okay? If the students submit an invalid list, then I'm afraid they have to pick um, what is left, okay? So it's I... I is that the correct? Yeah. Okay, can you please send 10? Sorry, what's that? Uh, a list of 10 projects, yeah. Send a list of 10 projects? Yeah. Uh, I've, the, the old one or current one? No, this one. Okay, I'll have this one, okay. Okay. okay, we'll have to take it from there. Oh, thank you. Hi, uh, I have two issues I want to discuss with you. Uh, first, I'm having trouble contacting my uh, supervisor. Okay, you so know who your supervisor is? Yeah, it's okay. Athia Heron. So. Athia Heron, okay. Uh, did they... Did you I emailed her about uh, setting up the meeting, as the email said. Do you see, can you see on your timetable for next week, the time for the meeting? Sorry, I... You should see it next now. week. It's not actually showing the description. Individual it's project. Because there's no description in... I can't, I can't find it. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Um, I'm not sure no, if this one is the one. Because the timetable doesn't show the description now anymore. Sorry. So it must be, yeah. So that's next Monday, yeah. So this is the individual meeting? I think uh, it must be, yeah. So it's um, Simon. Okay, so you know where that room is, yeah? Yeah. Lecture theater. Yes. Okay. It okay. Might not be. Well, so it must be. If they don't respond, uh, then you turn up. Okay. They don't necessarily have to respond. Right. Oh, so um, it, you just turn up because that was the whole point of going through um, the the um, uh, the trouble of setting things up in a timetable is so that uh, it limits email traffic. Okay. So the safest thing to do is just I attend everything in the first week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you do. Yeah. So the second thing is I I don't know which group I am in because I'm the project is about medical engineering. So within um, the six. Five to six groups. So, I don't so uh, what, what's your name again? Uh, G Q T S E Z. T S E Z. Z. Sorry, Z. Just T S Z. That, that should give you. Uh, no, without the space. Yeah. Uh, yes. So manufacturing. Okay, you're in the manufacturing. Oh, group. manufacturing. All right. Yeah. But you should see it in your timetable for the oh. week after. All right. Week two. You okay. will see. Uh, you should see it. All right. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I have the same question. Like, how do I know which group I am? Uh, well, you should see it in in your in the timetable anyway. Okay. What's what's your name? Uh, T S U N G. Oh, sorry. Yeah, T S U N G. You're in thermal fluids. All uh, right. Yeah. So it's uh, it may be referred to as T H. Um, oh, okay. th uh, the first group meeting is a uh, joint joint. Oh, so it's three, like all three groups. Uh, Not all, but three groups. Right. So you should be able to see. Yep. And also, like, um, I already met my supervisor this week, right? Uh, okay. So, good. like, yeah. is there? So I'm not going to meet him next week. Is that is that the case? Uh, well, you should see something in the timetable, unless. Yeah, like, I don't know, because I, I can't find it on the timetable. Because there's only like three things on the timetable next week, and it's like they're all lectures. Like it's in theater B. Really? Okay. Uh, that's that doesn't look right. If you if you have only three things in your timetable, can you email SOE timetabling? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Explaining that you can't see your um, project individual meeting next week. Yes. Okay. Uh, but unless uh, your supervisor specifically said that next week's meeting is not going to take place, it's going to be this week instead. Yeah. Unless that is the case, then you should have an individual meeting. Okay. Can you email yeah. SOE timetable? Yeah. Because okay. I can't sort it out. Yeah, okay, no worries. Uh, regarding my project code, so basically, um, 
after the first lottery, I think my supervisor couldn't supervise me anymore. They told me they wouldn't be able to supervise me in 2023, 2024. So, so who is your supervisor? Who is I, 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 don't, I don't know. But no, no, I've been emailed by SOE programs. They told me to submit another submission based yep. on another Excel list of remaining okay. programs. Yep. I've done that. And then what happened was on Blackboard, I've been allocated a code. But then I emailed that teacher and they're telling me I was assigned for another code. Okay, so who's, who you, who, what's your name? Im Mohammed Imran Ashra. Is that you? Yeah. Um, okay. Is that your code? No. No, no, wrong this one, wrong one. This is not you. Mm. Uh, I think, because Imran's my middle name, just try uh, Ashra, A-S-H-R-A. Yes. Okay, I think it's. I think that's um, fixed now. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, uh, yes. So you uh, yes. Maybe you contacted yes. Matt Roy. Yes. Okay. I uh, know. So no, not Matt Roy, but um, I think he CC'd them. I've, I've got the composition work here. So uh, Alex Killam, have you contacted Alex? Yes. Yes, and he CC'd you on SOE programs, and I think they did the change. Ah, okay, yeah, so as long, the main thing, okay, we'll sort out, we'll try to sort out all the blackboard and stuff. The main thing is you know who your supervisor is yes, and what I've project. already met them now and we've already sorted that. Yeah. Okay, so that should be okay. Project, yeah. 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 I was just concerned because you didn't receive an actual reply. And you uh, said no. we can't switch supervisor, but it's on the system, it's fine. Yeah, so, so I've, I've got it, yeah. I, I spent, you know, I manage the unit, I look at project codes, I don't write emails. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I took an interruption last year, and yep. uh, instead of s uh, like applying to the regular system, yep. uh, Professor Charlie Wong yep. agreed to be my supervisor. However, I didn't even like submit the topic title or an overview or anything. So I don't think that they have like a project code or a project. Uh, so you have an approved own project. Yes. It's been confirmed by yeah, Charlie I think Wong. I think like it was confirmed week by week. you too. I can look up the email conversation. Ah, uh, yeah. So what's uh, your name? Lucas Beres, so that's L-U-K-S, and then last name is B-E-R-E-S. That's with a K. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, so that's fine. You're oh, in I have system, a yeah. project code and... Oh. No, well, oh. it... it for own project, we don't really bother with project code. Okay, yeah. Okay. But you've got the email confirmation, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I just wanted to double check then, but because I'm, I don't think I'm in, like, group meetings. I don't even, I think I don't even have, like, individual meetings set up in my timetable. Okay, can you email soe pro dot yeah. program? Uh, um, no, timetable. SOE timetable is a better email than okay. SOE program. CC me, CC Charlie. Okay, and the... Uh, in terms of, like, because we, we started uh, preparing the initial uh, plan for end of the year. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of worried because, I don't, as I said, I don't even have like, a title for this. So I, I probably need to... I, I wouldn't uh, worry about things not being set up on Blackboard yet. Okay. The main thing is, it's an own project, so okay. you know what it is. You've spoken with, yeah. uh, with, with Charlie Wong, uh, so just go ahead and start the work, okay? You don't need input from us, okay? We'll try to sort okay. out the blackboard. Okay. Yep, that's right. Just crack on. Thank you. Hello, um, I was on um, a placement year yep. this previous year, and um, I was my assigned project was with Lee Cunningham, but I don't think he's here anymore, so my thing's not come up on the system. Uh, so what's your name? It's James Roos, spelled R-O-U-S. It's R-O-U-S. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've got uh, Pablo Uro. Uh, so Pablo, I think Pablo submitted a project with uh, some of the um, um, PhD students or, or postdoc. Okay. Okay. So it looks like you've got two supervisors, right? Right. But d did you not receive this? No, I, I checked on Blackboard where it should be, but it's not for some reason. So, but that's you. Uh, so J James um, uh, Ordinas. Ordinas Root, no. <laughs> you should know your names. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound like it. Okay, it's right. Ja Jaume. Yeah. So it's yeah. not you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anybody else. Ruth, let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope, you're not anywhere. Okay. Did you, did you contact the mailbox? No, not. As in, I haven't, hadn't, well, because I was expecting it. I just came here just to kind of find what the answers were. Effectively, so I, I, I submitted all my stuff last year. I got assigned to a project, and I was under the assumption that that would then be assigned to me the following year. You get what so, I mean? so you went you went through the project bidding. Yes. Last year. Yeah. So, so last year in in, in September, you got given it, what when I was project? In, when I was in my second year, I got um, it was C U Lee two. I can't remember what the exact title was. It was to do with um, sustainable biomimicry processes within uh, yeah. some materials. The and problem is every year we, we, we have to go process. through that process and then uh, supervisors get you know over allocated very quickly yeah so I see um, Lee has Lee got Lee, yeah. he's got four students okay um, yeah two three so each one is one two three four no two three So, c can you see your your project, the one you got last year? Um, I think it was. It was one of. I think it was this one. CIE two, the QE two, behavior and design of earth and structure, or something. QE two. That that's your I think your it was. Project. I think it was. That was the one I got assigned. Yeah. A significant percentage of developing where population lives in structure constructed from earth and materials such as adobe. Yeah, I think it was something something like that. Okay. Those are the ones I applied for, anyway. And, uh, and I, got, I got on on Blackboard last year. I was assigned QE two, so that's yeah. QE two. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds like you submitted the same ones. Okay. Yeah. Earth and structures. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the trouble is. I'm not on the register. Yeah, but the trouble is, has he given that? Has yes. Given uh, it? Uh, uh, given yeah. It so it's given it to somebody. Okay. So would I? Where do I go from here then? Would I need to select one that out of the ones that haven't been given out? So the two two options. Mm. Okay, either uh, we send you the list of the projects the, that the projects that are left. Okay, yeah. or uh, so it might, or you pick from from um, you, you you ask him. Okay. Okay. Um, So that's, so, so that's, yeah, these are the projects not allocated, okay. Um, you, so you see, you could go for Lee's project, yeah, okay. one, four, and seven, okay. And you can apply to others. Uh, wh which one's um, four? QE four. Behavior and design of cross laminated timber structures. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'd say actually, yeah, if you could, would you just be able to email me the list of the non allocated projects okay. and yeah. then I could have a look okay. through all of those? Yeah. 